Hi, Terry Shanefeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate the positive predictive value of a diagnostic test. So in this hypothetical study, 200 patients are enrolled to evaluate the accuracy of a new ELISA-based test for the diagnosis of influenza. 100 patients were diagnosed with influenza by the reference standard culture of respiratory secretions. 80 of the patients had, who had influenza had a positive ELISA-based test, as did 5 of the patients without influenza. So what is the probability of influenza in a patient who tests positive on this ELISA-based test? So this is the question that we ask as clinicians. If I have a positive test, what's the chance that somebody has disease? Now, unfortunately, many clinicians think tests are perfect, and that if you have a positive test, you automatically have disease. That's not always the case. So let's work on calculating the post-test probability of a patient with a positive test. So I said there were 200 patients enrolled in this study and 100 of them had influenza. So what I need to do is put 100 down here at the bottom and because there were 200 total patients everything has to add up. I'd have to have 100 people without influenza. Next I said 80 of the patients with influenza had a positive ELISA based test. So 80 is going to go in this box and I also said 5 of the people without influenza had a positive ELISA based test. So 5 will go in that box. And everything else just has to add up. So I have to have 95 in this box and I'll have to have 20 in this box since everything adds up. Now in a previous video I, we calculated sensitivity and specificity and those went vertically. Well in predictive values they're actually going to go horizontally this time. So I'm actually going to add up these numbers over here also. So I'm going to put 85 on the outside here and I'm going to put 115 um, on the side over here. Now I can make my calculations. Um, what we really want to know is if you have a positive test, what's the chance you have disease? And so if my test is positive, what I'm going to calculate is called a positive predictive value. And it's just that. What's the chance or probability that you have disease, that a patient has disease, given a positive test. And this is, again is exactly what we do as clinicians. We want to know if you have a test positive what's the chance that you have disease. And so I think if you understand predictive value in this word format then you'll be able to make the calculation easier. So again positive predictive value is what's the chance that the patient has disease given that they had a positive test. So now we can work on figuring out how to make this calculation. So again, I said we're going to go sort of horizontally across this 2x2 two two table. So of all the people with a positive test, there are 85 of them. And what's the chance that you have disease if you have a positive test? Well, it's this box out of the entire group. So 80 out of 85 comes out to 94% chance. So if you had a positive ELISA-based test in this hypothetical study, you'd have a 94% chance of actually having the flu. The converse of that is despite having a positive test, um, there's still a 6% chance you would not have the flu. The flu. So that's how you can interpret uh, positive predictive value.